Hey, what's up, y'all? Today, what I'm going to be giving my two cents on is two 21-year-old females whose life has been forever changed, like drastically. Now, this video is going to be directed and geared towards young black mothers. And I'm going to try not to make it too long. So if I start talking fast, just keep up with me. I don't want this video to be too long. But because this situation and this story is weighing on my heart heavy. And I feel like I have to say something. And I'm going to say something. Um, It's Friday. But at the beginning of this week, um, two 21-year-old females got into an altercation. And it ended up with one of the females dying. Now, there's Tia, who is 21, and Tiara. Tia has a 5-year-old and a 2-month-old, and she was on her way with her sister to pick up her 5-year-old from school. Now, and this happened in D.C., like, close to where my family is. I'm just glad I didn't... Mm -hmm. But anyway. And so, um... Tia tells her sister to pull over at the gas station because I'm thirsty. Well, her sister said, okay, but her sister does not notice that. Tia wants to pull over because she sees her baby father, car. And so Tia gets out the car. She walks over to her baby father and her baby father and her get into an argument because there's Tiara, who's also 21, in the backseat of the car. And I'm willing to bet that this is not Tiara, I mean, Tia's first time get it into with her baby father over another female. So her and her baby father get into it and they're arguing whatever. And I guess that wasn't working. She gets even more heated and she goes to the back door and she gets into an argument with Tiara, which was way out of line because she doesn't have any kids by Tiara. You're not having sex with Tiara. You're not in a relationship with Tiara. She has no loyalties or any ties to you whatsoever. So she gets into an argument with Tiara and she's grabbing clothes out the back seat and she's throwing them out and tossing them away, you know. And then she spits on Tiara. Tiara hops her ass out the car and they get into a fight. They start fighting. And this is on camera. Some band, some, some bitch boy, some fuck tar, some fuck boy. Instead of breaking the fight up, he's recording and he's laughing. He's watching two females fight and he's laughing and recording. And so the baby father, he gets his baby mother, Tia, and he breaks him up and she's to standing towards the back of the car. Oh, mind you, before the baby father breaks them up, that's when Tia's sister noticed that her sister is fighting. So she gets out the car and she runs over to the fight and she's telling her sister, Tia, you better crush her. You better crush her. You better crush her. And the next thing you know, you see Tia's sister hit Tiara. So the baby father, he breaks it up and everything. And Tia is standing at the back of the car. Now, I can't see a gun, but Tiara reaches for a gun that's in the front seat. And she holds it towards Tia. And she busts off twice. One of the shots hit Tiara. Oh, excuse me. One of the shots hits Tia. I get their main names mixed up because it's TNT. And it just amazes me how Tia's name is Tia Posey. Oops, my bad. Tia Curry. And then Tiara's name is Tia Posey. And it's just... It's just sad and unfortunate. And so, Tierra busts off and one of the shots hit Tierra and Tia in the head. And Tia automatically drops or whatever. And the baby father is yelling, what did you do? What did you do? And it's like, that's when she realized what she did. And she, like, and then you hear Tia's sister yelling, you killed my sister. You killed my sister. And this, that, and all this other stuff. And, you know, and... The baby father, he gets in the car. He gets into Tia and her sister's car. And he rolls out. He says it was to take the kids from the situation. I'm not sure that's what it was for. I think that the gun was his. He either had some charges. and Or that gun was his. And it had some other bodies. Or it had some shit on that gun. But he wanted to get out of Dodge. Because you know what I'm saying. But anywho. I'm telling this story because. It's been a lot of wild shit going on with the young ladies with the females um back during the summertime i remember a girl she was pregnant she got into a fight she went to go fight another girl and the girl shot on her stomach and she lost her baby and she got locked up and at first they was going to try to charge her for going to the fight they was going to charge her with the death of her baby another incident it was a mother who took 
two of her daughters to go fight some female. And the girls, the girl shot the two daughters up and the mother rolled out and everything. And I'm directing this to, and I'm going to call this video, Dear Young Black Mothers. And it doesn't matter whether you're single or in a relationship or whatever, because I just want the young ladies to know that once you have a child, that child is your first and main concern, your main priority, your priorities change. You going out to the club or you going out to fight or you going out to like to fight or drink or whatever the case is, is is over for a little while. It is what it is. That's an info thing I say right there. But anyway, it's over. So there is no going out or there is no um, I want a date to get pain and, and you don't you don't need fresh pain anyway and you have to be careful because even when you're meeting these new guys or whatever you are not knowing these guys for long and you're leaving your babies with these guys and they don't have the patience and they're shaking babies or they're beating babies and they're killing your kids so once you then how many more is it but anyway once you have a baby like I said your priorities change and The reason why I'm speaking to the young black mothers is because I'm black and that's my community and it's not for me to speak on the men but I wish it's I wish it well I could tell some men that um I think it need to be young males out here telling the younger men that you don't want to just be going around busting off and shooting up the club with your seat and just leaving your seat anywhere because you are worthy you don't really have to go out there having sex. I mean, you don't need, for you young ladies, you don't need new pain. You don't need to feel special. If you need to feel special, you need to learn how to make yourself feel special. You have 10 fingers. They have bullets out there. They have dildos. So, you, so, so, no, it is better. It is helpful and it's better to raise a child in a two-parent home. But I know that if these females could do it over, they would do a do-over and... You have to start thinking that when a fight breaks out now, in this day and age, somebody's going to either have a gun or a knife. And that's how you need to think. You need to think like, uh-uh, I'm not wasting my energy on this. Uh, no, oh no. Or I'm too pretty to fight because you will have to literally put your hands on me in order for me to fuck you up. You're not going to talk words. You're not going to do none of that. But once you put your hands on me, then... Mm, I guarantee you, or I tell you, it's going to be a problem. And so, they sat on the girl, and then Tia's sister sit on Tia, because they holding her there until the police come, you know. And, I don't know if I said this, but Tia was like, she said very calmly, I didn't mean to do it. Now, this could have all been avoided. I wish Tia could have been a bigger person, and just rolled out, or just closed the door, or locked the door. Because, you know, but you have to be careful when you spit on somebody. That's assault and that's disgusting. Spitting on somebody would be like you pissing on somebody or you shitting on somebody to me. So I can see how somebody would lose it. But it really wasn't self-defense. So she's going to get some time. Um, Tia, her life is over. She didn't even get to know her two-month-old. Because she should have been in the house. She should have got the five-year-old and she should have went in the house. It's understandable to be mad and hurt and everything. But I guarantee you that's not the first time that he didn't did that to her. And I feel like when, matter of fact, I feel like he should have grabbed the girl or he should have. Pushed his baby mother off, hopped in the car, and rolled out. Tia will still be living, and Tia won't be in jail. Both of my twenty-one. Tia's birthday is this month, so she will be she will be turning twenty-two. In jail, or spending her birthday in jail, and I just think it's crazy. And I wanted to that I wanted to tell this story because hopefully. 
Tia did not die in vain. I think a lot of people need to hear a story. A lot of females need to hear a story. And I'm not saying she deserves to die. But Tia went looking for her death. And you have to be careful. Because if you're not careful, you could end up in a situation like Tia. Dead. Tia. Going to jail. Or like that pregnant girl who went to go get into a fight. And she don't have a baby. And she will always... Think about that baby. Tia's sister will always be tormented and be like, dang, instead of telling my sister to crush this girl, I wish I would have told her, let's get in the car and roll the fuck out. It's not worth it. Shit happens and shit happens fast. So you have to be careful. You have to be able to think logically I'm telling you, I know if these girls could have did it over, these girls would do it over. This is so final and it's sad and it's and it's heart it's heartbreaking. It's heart wrenching, it's heartbreaking. It's already the new year and I think so far in DC it's been seven or eight homicides. Now, like I said, I don't want this video to be too long. I didn't do this video over, over and over because it came out long and I don't want it to be long. But anyway, I'm just saying this to say young mothers, young females, period. Think before you want to go get into a fight. Think now. If y'all made it all the 12, all the 12 minutes, y'all are the GOAT. But anyway, I'm about to wrap this on up. Y'all be easy, young ladies. Think young mothers. I'm talking about like from 18. Because it's like you 18 year old, 18 to 25. Y'all wilding out. Just take the time out to think. If you are a young mother, think, do I want to be away from my kids do I love my kids enough to let that bullshit run out and go anyway thank you for watching y'all always 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 stay unapologetically you because I'm gonna always 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 stay unapologetic to me hand gestures facial expressions doing me all that